So today I will be drawing a shark. I'm going to start by drawing a vertical line down the middle of my paper and a horizontal line going in the opposite direction. I will be using my fingers a lot to mark a lot of the spaces that I want and where to start and where to connect the lines so you need to pay attention to that so that your drawing will end up in the center of the page and not off to one side. We're going to use most of this part of the paper. I'm going to start by putting three fingers on this side and placing a little mark here. Three fingers on this side and placing a little mark here. And then I'm going to, let's see, put four fingers from the top and placing a little mark here and then about three fingers from this side in a diagonal way and placing a little mark here. So now what I'm going to do is connect all of these lines in a curving style like an S and not actually stopping for a hard point. So I'm going to start back here and just connect all these lines. Then this part right here will be his mouth and this side will be his tail. I'm going to put three fingers on this side kind of in a diagonal way and put another little mark here. I am going to put four fingers starting right here where this first line was, right down here, and then one finger right up here by his tail. And the same thing, I'm going to take these three spots and connect them very uh, soft, very softly, in a curving way. All right, so now I'm going to erase this line a little bit because I'm going to put his mouth right here. And I'm going to make, I'm going to connect these two lines with using a C shape, kind of a C, a backward C shape. And then I'm going to do the same thing again, very close to the first line, and this is going to be the shark's lip. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to add um, teeth. I'm going to start right at the very front and add some teeth. And as I go farther back, they are going to get smaller. Same thing down here, larger in the front and get smaller as I go back. Now I'm going to connect the back of his mouth by drawing a line from behind his first tooth to behind the area behind his bottom tooth. All right, so that's pretty much done. I'm going to erase this part and add some gills. His eye is going to be up here and I am drawing a small curve up here. Then erase the line that I just drew on top of and add a circle. His nose, very small, little curve here, and another curve on this side. His fin, I am going to start it right up here. I'm going to place two fingers here, then go over to the side a little bit, right about there, and then put two fingers. See where this middle line is? Put two fingers right here and put a mark on each side. So that kind of makes a triangular shape, but I want to connect these lines with a slight curve. And that will be one of his fins. Do the same thing on the bottom. I'm going to place one finger and a mark on each side. And then about one finger and a mark here. And I'm going to do the same thing. Connect the lines with a slight curve. Now right here we have a shape that is kind of like a triangle shape right in here and I'm just going to draw a larger fin right here. Alright now let's go on to the tail. I will put two fingers on this side and put a little mark 
two fingers on this side of his tail and put a little mark. And again, with a slight curve, connect these lines. Now, right here where his tail ends, I'm going to place a small mark. And this would probably be the hardest part of the drawing. You're going to make a very slight S shape. It's going to come in and then out. So you're going to come in slightly and then out slightly, not very much. The same thing with this, but in reverse. So out and then in. And that is pretty much the body of this chart. So what I'm going to do now is just erase all of those extra lines I don't need, including this one. Or I can leave that one. That's fine. Let's draw that. Erase all of these right here. And when you're doing your pencil part, the pencil sketch, try not to press very hard on your pencil so it'll make it easier to erase. This is a little hard for me to erase because I'm pressing a lot so you can actually see this on the camera. So now that I've erased most of my marks that I can see, let me take another look, then it's time to trace with a Sharpie. And remember, when you're tracing, try not to lift your marker. There are some times where you have to lift your marker and that's fine, but try not to. The less you lift your marker, the less marks of stop and go that you will have on your drawing. Now, if you see right here, I um, didn't actually um, cover the pencil line. That's fine. I'm going to go back and erase it in a few minutes. You hear my dog coming in. Yay! All right. So now that you've done all the um, tracing with your Sharpie or black marker, then you can go back and erase all those extra pencil marks. All right. So this shark, I am going to color using colored pencils. And I thought I had a gray, but I don't. So I'm going to color this part of his body a darker gray. I'm going to draw a little line right about right here. And then this part right here, a lighter gray in the middle. And then it's just going to get lighter as I go down. So when I start coloring up here, I'm going to put a lot of pressure on my colored pencil. And then as I go down, then I apply less pressure. Now one of the things to make this look really neat when you're drawing is to color in one direction. You don't want to start going uh, up and down here and then going sideways here, going diagonal here, maybe going in a circle because that does not, that, that doesn't look very good. So you just want to color in one direction. Now you can tell right here that I put more pressure right up here than less pressure and even uh, very little pressure down here on the pencil. So I got three different colors from the black. I got a dark, dark black or a dark gray, a lighter shade of gray, and then a very light gray. So his body will be those colors, and then his mouth will be red. And I don't like to leave any white 
on the paper. So, you know, if he's in the ocean, I would color the, the area surrounding him blue. Or any color you want, really. This is your shark. All right. When you finish, your shark should look like this. And that is the drawing for the shark. So if you decide to draw this shark, draw it, color it, bring it to class, share it, so we can all see. All right. I hope you enjoyed it.